Give it up for the one, the only, soft spoken. Now I want you to imagine your African or Iranian, maybe Mesopotamian, but definitely soon to be an eagle, illegal alien from the rough terrain towards the Mediterranean. Mm. And your mission is to get to what used to be Arabia. And the only thing between you and freedom is what to cumulatively kill millions. And at your destination, the natives are Cypriot, Cretan, or Sicilian. But all you want to do is settle with your sister and mission. Failing that, you all have to go live with your brother in Birmingham, but all you want is peace and dignity for your children. So, claim your position this new normal, mere mortal, where the ones that drown end up at a new portal. Mm. Anonymized, and you want to get the poem. You got this, you got this. Woo! You got this. So, Claim your position is new normal, mere mortal weather. Ones that drown end up at a new portal. Immortalizing Atlantis to our collective consciousness. Anonymous to the victims of this promised metropolis, whether reckless or ruthless, the breathless or helpless as they cross the wickedness of emptiness. Autonomous is what guides the whole process, and all the reality is ominous and the obstacles are limitless. But you. Smiling your child and pretend it's all okay. Knowing the shore is still 20 miles away. But you, be brave. Walk the ways. Come on. It's not like you can run away. If you just go on some stage, your chance to save the day because these teenagers amongst you have a future that you can't delay. And these passageways are either risque or just a passageway where pain is a distant memory far away. If only this sea could quench your fire of rage. Well, now it's year five, and somehow you survived, and you moved to Kensal Rise. <laughs> I don't know the rest of all. <laughs> you didn't mention quite yeah. 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 Northwest? You know, you yeah. travel all the way just to get to Brain, mate. Bruv, what you mean? <laughs> At least we got right. this. Now year five and somehow you survived and what terrorized your mind, your mind didn't cause your demise and what doesn't kill was a trial that allowed you to thrive and derive a life where enterprise is recognized. But don't be surprised what highs and connives because bad mind, bad man, bad minds and normal minds will kill your child with knives and mm. once the sense of your paradise becomes the ultimate sacrifice so you call to rise in bleeding life of the soul received in which you arrived. Come on. And so you sing the following at your child's funeral. The Mesopotamian lion guards the priest from Basra to Birmingham whilst the Celtic tiger slaughters his eagle by a diaphragm. Mm. Don't worry, young, young warrior, your time will soon come. Your enemies to defeat, they are just soon to come. Stand tall, withstand this weary world's exam. You are a lion destined to lead these block of lands. Mm. And mediocrity shall never define your program. Mm. Now I want you to imagine once more. Your African, Iranian, Mesopotamian, maybe even Ukrainian, on the rough terrains of the Aegean, Crimean, Caspian, Adriatic, or Baltic. And it may be dramatic, but I'm also humanitarian. Thank you. Come on! Memorized in my life. Come on. I don't know. Big, big brains. Big brains. Science yeah. teacher. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Because <laughs> my arms are sweaty. Easy. 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 Apologies for calling shady, but that's how I feel when I recite like poetry. Mm. And my joints might be heavy from carrying a belly. Wait. As you can see, I carry plenty. Hey. Public speaking gives me anxiety and that's why I feel so much envy when I see someone express so eloquently. Because I know I've got better bars than Lil Uzi Vert, but I struggle to externalise my inner <laughs> introvert. Mm. And my politics may be liberal, but my soul is conservative. You see, I collect my thoughts and prefer to keep them in. Mm. And even in work presentations, I have to stop stuttering and I have to raise my voice so I'm no longer just muttering. So I have to be heard more than just a smattering. My God, it's so fucking frustrating. Because... 
one to one, I think I'm all right. But talk to a whole crowd and it's more fight or flight. Come on. And even right now, I prefer to read from my phone so I can pretend that I'm all. Because when your thoughts are encased, it's easy to become enraged. You talk and people become disengaged. So one day, it's decide to get on a stage to say something and people can actually relate. Mm. And right now, I feel elated. Mm. Right now, I feel emancipated because I can talk to a whole crowd and no longer feel deflated. Mm. Yes. Yes. So to you in the crowd. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. That was me listening to poetry for the last five years that sometimes brought me to tears, sometimes made me laugh, but always left me in despair. If I had something to say, would people even want to hear? You see, I still hate public speaking, but for you tonight, at my second hole, BYOB, Come on. Mm. I'm confronting my biggest fear. Thank yes. you. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, but, 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 but. Um, so I, I've spoken something that I call myself because Prestige Carla, when she asked me what my stage name was, I was like, what stage name? Just call me after learning. But I, I was like, okay, oh, no, seriously, what's, this, what, what's my stage name? And I thought, soft spoken. And actually, ever since I've tried to fight that because I want to try and raise my voice, because I know I'm soft spoken. That's, that's my nature, mm. basically. Sexy spoken. Sexy The Saudi government's listening, we haven't gone to Hajj yet, yeah, so you know. <laughs> Alright. So um, this one's called POV uh, You're at Poets Anonymous. Hey. I'm gonna need you guys to help me with this. I like this one. Hi, <coughs> my name's Soft Spoken and I'm addicted to uh, spoken word. Mm -hmm. Hi Soft Spoken. Hi Soft Spoken. Because I'm taken in by the moment. Drunk by potent similes and misplaced apostrophes, easing life's atrocities and make me feel less broken. Mix ellipses, make metaphors out of memories. This pen infinitesimally, I can't mm. say the word. In, that word breathes incoherent and excels cogent. Because we are poets of the moment. Mm. Alone in our thoughts together, verbal extolerance of the literary, we bathe in ink and soak <clears> up <throat> our unknown notions. This pigment is our moisture. So much so we mold monuments that are potent, exporters of phonetics, etched into stone, we break etiquette, even when reminiscent, we're prophetic, when in our elements we mm. chip off the old rocks and collect the sediments. Mm. Oh my Lord. Let us compact and cement this moment. Heat and pressure metamorphize our messages to marble. Our stories only surface when tectonic plates align and we may be much maligned, but we are reporters at the epicenter of this movement. Syllables slip from lips as we stand on soapboxes that somehow withstand earthquakes of emotions. Mm. Bask in the momentum of this moment. Your mass and velocity combine together to multiply our times, rhyming with rhythm. The mass of meaning is above the volumes of vocab. Your diction has density. Mm -hmm. Feel the weight of our words. The gravity of our growls keep us stranded and grateful. And flow in the lava of this moment. Call into the igneous with crystals like shooting stars without flight. Break new lands, we colonize our cortex. So in a vortex, please, I want to be a flow poet one day. And peer into nebulae at night. Use lunar light to gain insight. Ideas so bright, the sun becomes jealous of our luminousness. So shine, young poet, shine. This is our moment. Yes. Seize it. Yes. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, do you want a serious poem or a funny poem? Both. 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 At the same we've time. We've got time. Do a line from all the Both of them at the same time. Remix all right. it. Remix. Both of them together. Okay, so, so, this one's kind of new. I don't even think actually anyone has heard this in this room before. Um, but it's self explanatory. Marginalized is not being the right type of Arab in an Arab country and having to get on the first flight to a foreign nation for refuge. Marginalised is not being British despite my taxes paying for the Queen and my passport says so. Mm, yeah. Marginalised is moving from council house to council house because there's too many of your kind here already. Mm. Marginalised is working as a minicab driver all night for when you're tired and emotional, brown face is a saviour. Mm. Marginalised is listen to Abdul Bath and Abdul Samad. Meanwhile, the man in the backseat offers you £200 to take his wonderful singing off you. Marginalise this, taking your family to holiday to Margate so that your son can get spat out for taking all the flats from Roy. Mm. Marginalise this, being part of the majority in a school but no one in the senior leadership represents you. Yes. Marginalise this, graduating among hundreds of smiling teachers yet you are the only person not white amongst those passing. 
marginalizes being morally worth more than double this bastard. However, he's had enough of hearing about halal this and halal that. <laughs> marginalizes working for twice as much time, achieving more though you don't fit in the criteria for this role yet. We wish you the world with your future endeavors. Marginalizes reporting racism but still being the problem. Marginalized is not going to Hyde Park Corner anymore on the off chance some racist wants to call you the Kafir. Marginalized is turning on the radio so you can casually be abused by Katie Hopkins. Marginalized is turning on the television any given day just to have a, any plethora of mediocre politician wish you never existed. Marginalized is wearing a hijab out in public like choosing to wear a cloth on your head is either an is of invisibility. Invisi Wheel it back, wheel it back. 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 Marginalized is wearing a hijab out in public, like choosing to wear a cloth in your head is either an invisibility cloak or sticking out, depending on what Dave or Sue feel like at any given day. Marginalized is getting sworn up by Karen in North Wales. Now you've got to put your arm around your mum and steer her away from danger. On the off chance, Karen decides that we're taking over. One day it's holidays, and next you come over with your murder meat and moss. Keep Kanaf and Karen, we're fine, thanks. We're okay. Marginalized is asking for the day of Fahid in 2017, but even now it's not a Christian holiday, so why should I pay for religious observances? Besides, I ask the rest of the staff, as I have done before, they would feel offended because they can't take a day off themselves. We are a secular workplace, and we respect the choice to have a religion. Just it's not fair to hold us to ransom so you can convert with your types. I mean, if I went to go to work in Saudi or whatever, it would actually be something that I couldn't do myself, and I wouldn't be able to get paid for time off for Easter. So what, why should you expect to be in such a privileged position and not be scrutinized for asking for time off? Fair we sweep this under the carpet and never mention it again. I still think it was the right decision to employ you, but never mention this again. Otherwise, we'll find any reason to paint you as troublesome and get you out before you get promoted far enough to actually make a change around it. Bro. Marginalized is knowing that a look tells you you're not welcome here. Mm. Marginalized is everyday experiences still being a Muslim in 2022. Mm. Thank you. Woo! Um, so this this is one of my old poems. It's from 2020. Um, you guys might remember it. Vintage. I'm gonna start singing though, so I'm just gonna apologise. Sing. Cause I just woke in the year 2020. Everything's changed and they gentrified my city. The PM's racist and the outlook's looking shitty. But I can't sing so. I'll just go back to poetry. <laughs> you see. I've just woken up from a 10 year coma. Allow a vigil to a life I thought was over. Feeling 21, my body suggests I'm older, beard's got grades, and my hair's gone beyond my shoulders. You're gonna have to imagine that one. <laughs> and right now, I can't tell my ass from October, and I need a shower to remove a decades of Romans. <laughs> Sensory overload makes it hard to keep composure. I squinted from all this light exposure, so I reached for my glasses and looked at my Motorola a bit closer. Motorola. I know, right? Imagine that. Razor. I woke up from a 10 year coma, but it seems like yesterday I graduated from uni and thinking of that girl I liked or whether she still loves me. Nah, it's been 10 years, she'll have moved on. How silly, but I log into Facebook and see she's married an Arab and she's got a kid. She's named him after me. That's not true, by the way. My wife isn't here yet, is she? No, good. All right. Footnotes. You see, I see those touchscreen phones have caught on, but their big sizes are way too big for idle thumbs. And hold on, where's Nokia gone? Mm. And where's the, where's the innovation? Because it feels like we're singing the same song, but it also feels like the whole world has changed. And what happened to hip hop? And who the hell is Drake? Mm. For real. And what happened to Kanye West? Oh, what happened to Kanye West? Because it seems like he got married to his beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. And frankly, I'm not impressed. <laughs> And what's real and what's fake? Because all I hear are the worst takes and has the world gone to sleep when I wasn't awake because I have this uneasy feeling I can't seem to shake. Mm. I mean, America had a black president and Palestine still isn't free. America has an orange president and Palestine still isn't free. <laughs> America has a known president, an old man, and Palestine still isn't free. Mm. We had a black royal and Palestine still isn't free. And we lost that black royal. And say it with me. Palestine isn't still free. isn't free. free. See, I just woke up from a 10 year coma. At least America still has Obama. Where the hell is Obama? <laughs> Who was president? You mean apprentice man with a comb over? Are you sure <laughs> this world isn't over? And which group has Iraq feeling pissed? Because it was America, then Al Qaeda, then America, then ISIS, then America, then terrorists, then. You get the point. <laughs>
Because I mean, let me try to explain to you the USA. It's like they are infected, but we take the antibiotics and now we've got MRSA. Mm. Wow. And now with the Rama force, take paracetamol for their headache. Wow. All right, and the following has a disclaimer. If the government hears us, I still want your funding. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the Queen protects kidney fiddlers. Facts. And Donald Facts. Trump is the new Hitler and... <clears throat> Boris Johnson is the prototype of Karl Rove and Mike Pence is the combination of Goering and Himmler. Let's hope the UK is out of succession with the Prime Minister less than and David Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson, watermelon smiles, racist for miles, Boris Johnson, because the Tories have finally morphed into the BNP, which is way worse than Labour going Trotsky and then going back to the centre again. Mm. And Harry went from dressing as a Nazi to leaving the royal family and Prince Andrew and the Black Eyed Peas both went south after Fergie. Mm. Oh. Buzz. <laughs> and so flipping hard. Wait, yeah, wait that back I, no, 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 no. I'm in trouble. Um, <laughs> Prince Andrew and the Black Eyed Peas both went south after Fergie. And what happened to United after Ferguson? City won the league. How many times? Liverpool won the league. <laughs> I mean, I see that Hackney's no longer hood and Arsenal still don't win anything. Else, so, okay, I'm good. <laughs> It's my poem. <laughs> <laughs> and I've oh, woken up from a 10 year coma. Oh, but the world seems to go on a little colder. And our world seems to grow in melanoma. Trees cut in the tax of malignants, metastatic. And this world isn't static. And Brits are acting erratic. Emphatic with the racism. Haitian Ooh. become geographic. And the Amazon is coming. Wheezing like an asthmatic. And by mm. now, divide and conquer is a well refined tactic. And police in America still autocratic. Killing with a knee on the neck with a gun. That's a classic. And education system still going on problematic. Oh and if you happen to be an ethnic minority, then your results are going on tragic. Wow. Jesus. You Come see, swine flu wasn't the only reason I avoided bacon, but. And he said, didn't keep me home from spreading infection. And we went from recovering from recession to the start of a depression, whilst London has won the world games of recession, of gentrification. <laughs> and a nation divided, brought together by love for key workers, deprived of resources to heal and nurture and fuck Corona. Mm. Say it with me. Fuck, fuck Corona. corona. Oh, <laughs> See, Attenborough is still alive, but he lost Maradona. Mm. And I've just woken up from a 10 year coma, but I seem to have picked up this knack for poetry. It's like I took two pens and started crocheting similes and oh. Come on. Weed oh. words. Oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. I've just woken up from a 10 year coma, but I seem to have picked this knack for poetry. It's like I took two pens and started crocheting similes, weave words together metaphorically, oh, and left you with this itty bitty poem that's actually finished because 2020 was two years ago. Hey. Thank you. Oh. That was, that was a fucking naughty. I was already. All right, and this one's dedicated to the last one. We're dedicated to one to Mo Farah. Um, there's a BT Sport um, competition going on right now. Um, I didn't enter it, but fuck it. Um, <laughs> this is my poem. It's the 11th of August, 2012. Sochi Summer Stratford stands still. Saturated stadium silenced. Starter shot shot. Secular supporters stare at static set tops shouting. Well, he buys this time. Prank pretenders pacing panically as he patiently ponders when to pounce the pedal on. Princely podium prime for his possession pending pole position. Mm. Practice made perfect. Mm. Mm. Preparation, purpose, perspiration preceding the prize. Pensive panther powers through. This is Mo Farah. Mm. And Farah faces foes. Fake, fickle, fascist, feigned friendship. Mm. Fraught footsteps frantically forcing forward towards history. Farage lets Fox fly. <laughs> Foreign frontage forgotten for fandom. But it's the last lap. Lactic legs lagging. London lovingly looks on as a line leaps to the lead. Looks like lingering losses are left to lay at last. Legendary legacy levitated. Gold gained. Glory gracefully given to God. Great Britain greedy gloats as gains gold Scotland. Gory ghosts and ghouls of past gone. Mo Farah, double Olympic champion on home territory. Mm. One nation and 80,000 in attendance celebrating a man named Mohammed for one just small brief moment. <laughs> Sadly, it's the only time we've ever felt he's here as a British Muslim. Mm. Thank you.